Hey guys, so today I thought I would try some of the newer products from L'Oreal. They are the Infallible Matte Lock Primer and the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm going to be trying these over a foundation that I've been wearing pretty much nonstop for the last week and a half. So if you're curious to see how these work, then just keep watching. Okay, so first is the Infallible Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. It says it's long wear. It says it's a matte finish, it preps the skin, and it has smoothing benefit. Smooths and refines canvas, mattifying primer stops shine and blurs imperfections for a matte finish. It says dot onto face and blend in and outward motion or target oil prone areas to deflect shine. So you get one fluid ounce in here, so let's give it a try. Looks like it comes out as like a white fluid rubs down to like a matte finish. And I get particularly oily right here and just on like the apples of my cheeks, so that's where I'm applying it. My chin is generally dry, so I don't apply mattifying products onto the chin. If anything, I'll put like an oil on my chin so that my skin on my chin stays nice and hydrated. All right, so now the foundation that I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks is the Your Skin But Better CC Cream from It Cosmetics. I've been mixing the shades Fair and Light for like my perfect shade, and what I've noticed with this product is if I don't use certain powders, I will start getting oily after about five hours. So we will see how this primer and the powder help to mattify this foundation. So I'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand. Yes, Abby. Take my L'Oreal, this one called my L'Oreal Infallible Sponge, I believe this is called. And just dot it around. Okay, so it covers really well. Let me finish the concealer and then we'll try this infallible powder. Okay, moving on to the powder, I ended up setting my eyes with a little bit of ColourPop concealer, BH Cosmetics concealer, and finally Tarte because nothing was canceling out the blue right under the center, the corners of my eyes. So this is the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. It says, micro fine texture, it sets and it's for use post makeup so that's what we are doing that's all it says you get 0.28 ounces or 8 grams of powder in here so let's check this out okay so this is what it looks like it's definitely micro fine very very smooth very silky this is what it looks like on the hand right here looks like it might leave a little bit of a white cast but we will definitely check that out I'm going to grab my e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I use for setting the under eye. I'm going to dip into here, tap off excess, and set the under eye. I feel like it took a little bit of the coverage away from my concealer. Like You can see the bags a little bit more, but let me finish setting the rest of the face take a bigger fluffy brush for the bigger portions of my face here. Okay. 
Okay, so this side has been set. This side you can see is still a bit on the dewy side, has not been set yet. So let's do a flash test real quick, and then we'll be back to finish up the other side. Okay, so it passed the flash test as you can see. So let's finish up the rest of the face. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like with the setting powder on top. Like I said, I do feel like it kind of lightened my coverage just a bit. I don't usually have that problem with loose setting powders reducing my coverage, but I feel like this was a pretty decent high medium to full coverage look before I set it with powder. So I do feel like I lost a little bit of the coverage with the setting powder, but if you're using like a super, super full coverage foundation, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but if you don't like powders that kind of take away the coverage, then you may not love this one. But looking close up, my skin looks nice and smooth. It feels smooth. Um, hasn't settled into any lines and it's not transferring just by touching my face so that is definitely a plus so let me zoom in and give you a close-up of what it looks like on my face So I will go ahead and finish up my face and I'll be back to show you what it looks like with everything on top of it to show you kind of how it layers on top of the setting powder. So be right back. Okay, so this is what the makeup looks like with the powder, bronzer, blush, everything on top. I ended up popping on a little bit of the Milani Most Love Mattes shadows to the eyes. I have a little of Ulta lip oil on the lips, some LA Girl just blushing just natural blush on my cheeks and I used a combination of Bare Minerals and Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers on the perimeter of my face just to kind of warm things up a bit and I think that it turned out really nicely. Um, still a little less coverage than I prefer. You can see kind of all of my birthmarks, my sunspots, acne marks through the foundation and I do think that's because of this setting powder. So maybe I will use this First, and then maybe like a more full coverage powder on top like the Laura Geller Big Balance and Brighten powder to kind of give me that coverage back that I lost with this translucent powder um, but so far it's definitely matte everything does seem locked in I will try to either do a check-in at the end of the day or leave an update right here if it really did keep me matte all day long Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.